Hello, I'm here to tell you about the Food Safety and Zoonosis Programme, which is focusing on the, some of the health externalities associated with livestock keeping. These externalities are important and large. For example, foodborne parasites, such as the conditions caused by the Cysticercus tapeworm, which you see in the picture on the left, actually have a higher human health burden than either breast cancer or Alzheimer's. These are big problems. And these aren't the only health externalities associated with agriculture. Emerging infectious diseases are another important phenomenon. At the moment, one new disease is emerging every four months, and three quarters of these jump species from animals to people. They impose another enormous burden, $7 billion a year, and cause such shocking and, and economy-threatening diseases as the avian influenza, the SARS, the MERS, the Ebola, which we have all heard about in recent years. But while there are challenges, there are also opportunities. The new strategic results framework of the CG opens an unprecedented space for work on the health externalities of agriculture. Here is an excerpt from, from the SRF. You can see at the top the three major goals, improved food and nutrition security for health in the middle, flanked by reduced poverty and improved NRM. And under that, we have the sub-IDOs, improved diets, improved food safety, and improved human and animal health through better agricultural practices. Human health has never featured so prominently in the aims and work of the CG. And we think this is offering an ideal opportunity to do more about the agricultural externalities of health. So we were asked to talk about the goods and the bads of working in this program. I can say that there are many things we are proud of. Uh, first and not least, the fact that our scientists are producing five papers per, on average per year, along with a whole set of briefs and videos and newspaper articles and, and lastly a book. Uh, in the past year too, we've become the go-to group for information on food safety and antimicrobial resistance and even animal disease by people like DFID, OIE, OECD, WTO. You can, you can see that our work is having influence at a high scale. But best of all, our recent results are showing that, over, that in Africa and India, six and a half million consumers are benefiting by drinking safe milk as the result of ILRI research. So what are the bads? Uh, well, first of all, the transaction costs of working both in, in programs, in centers, and in CRPs. Uh, more meat, milk, but meetings. This means that we don't have enough time for writing, and it's a challenge for, for many of the scientists in our group to, to get that time to publish. And lastly, the ongoing challenge of resource mobilization. We've all been hit by budget cuts this year. We were on joining CRPs. We were promised a steady income flow. Unfortunately, that hasn't materialized. We think it's going to get better, and indeed it, it has to get better. We were also asked to, 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 to explain our prospects of collaboration between food safety, zoonosis, and the rest of the, the institute and the other CRPs. And here, we have a fairly unique set of skills. We have the most epidemiologists of any group in Ilri. Uh, more than 12 epidemiologists are working with us. Most of them are outposted. And we have a good balance, too, of females and developing country scientists. So I would say that what we are bringing to the table is especially our skills in epidemiology and food. But in order to have a holistic, one health systematic approach to food safety, we need to work with economists, ecologists, nutritionists, gender specialists. And there are many of those at ILRI and among our partners, and we think we need to see how we can leverage our joint skills better. So what would a dream alliance look like? Not like this. I think for us, an alliance has to be where both people come together because they're like-minded and they want to do something, not because they've been brought together in an artificial structure. As I've said, our aim is health. We know we can't do it alone. We think we have a lot to offer, and we look forward to working with others in the new CG with an expanded room for health. Thank you for your attention.